in kilograms to pounds. Okay. Again, this is necessary for the computation of body surface area because body surface area is a combination of height and weight. Okay. Pounds to kilograms necessary for dosage calculation as well. Okay. So I have a student who works in a vet hospital and we were doing the body surface area computation the topic for dosage calculation. And one student asked, Ms. L, how do you do the dosage adjustment using body surface area for animals? You don't. How are you going to measure the height of an animal? <laughs> okay, so you measure, you base it on weight, on the animal's weight. Okay. Nowadays, we don't just base the dosage on weight. Okay? If you notice your Tylenol bottle for kids, okay, or acetaminophen bottle for kids, a suspension um, bottles, it will say, it will include a chart that says age and weight. Why? There are more and more kids nowadays that are one reason is becoming obese. Okay. Some kids, they're short or they're so skinny for their age. Some kids, they're heavy for their age. So that chart helps. Since Tylenol or acetaminophen is over the counter, the chart helps. Okay. And if you're less than two, it will say ask a doctor. Okay. But conversion of weight from pounds to kilograms or kilograms to pounds is necessary for dosage calculation. Okay. This is one question you don't ask women, though. <laughs> Do not ask for their weight, please. Not even their age. Don't even ask me that. Okay? You're going to get an app for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I always say, you must be good at math. And I say, what year I graduated, so students start calculating. How old is Ms. Ellen now? Okay? <laughs> don't, don't even do that. Keep it to yourself. Okay. Pounds to kilograms, which one is household? Pounds. Pounds. LBS, okay, it's because it's libras, okay, you narrow the weighing scale, libras, okay. Kilograms is what? Metric, okay. It can be capital K and then there are lower case G. What's your conversion? One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. I think the men are fine when we ask them for their weight. <laughs> it is not your job to weigh somebody in the hospital to check their vitals. Nah, okay, it's not your job. We do this for dosage calculation again. Louise, weight. 150. Do you know? 150 in what? Pounds. Pounds, okay. 150 pounds. Be very careful because this L looks like a number one, okay? There's no unit of measure BS. Don't BS me, okay? <laughs> it's LBS, okay? You know how L sometimes on the computer on a specific yeah. font looks like the number one? I had a student do that, and he was fighting for his answer. I said, he can't, because this is not 1,501. This is just 150 LBS, okay? Let's convert this to kilograms. How do we do that? Those who love dimensional analysis, I'm fine with that. That's how pharmacists do it. You have your 150 pounds. Okay. Put your pounds right here. What's your conversion? 2.2. 2. 2. So where does the 2.2 go? Next to the pounds, right? And then one kilogram. Cancel your pounds unit. You get 150 over 2.2. And your answer is what? 68. 68.18. Keep two decimal places for uniformity purposes. Follow the rule of rounding off. Two decimal places is your hundredth place. Okay. Ms. L, I don't like that. I don't understand it. Fine. Let's do ratio proportion. Okay. A kilogram is to 2.2 pounds as to, what are we looking for? Kilograms, right? Yeah. X kilogram. 150 pounds is 150 pounds. What do you do next? Cross multiply. This is your 150 divided by 2.2. 2. 
you should come up with the same exact answer. You want to flip 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 flop? That's fine. You should come out the same. Questions? Let's do some practice problems.